Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today because I am going to be recommending some books that have Stranger Things vibes. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who loved Stranger Things season four uh, and yeah I just thought this would be a fun video to kind of fan girl out I guess <laughs> over Stranger Things season four um, and yeah um, definitely keep it spoiler free in the comments because there are people who are waiting until July 1st to watch the whole thing all together. I was one of those people when I first came out and then I was like okay I gotta know. Um, so yeah I ended up binge watching um, pretty much I think the first five episodes and then the last two I waited a couple days um, and yeah I suggest doing it that way because it has like um it has kind of a break in it um, that yeah felt right and then you can digest what happened and then sit down and watch the other two episodes uh, and then we get two more episodes July 1st so yeah I'm super anxious to see where this one is going uh, but until then I have some books you can read <laughs> that are very similar to Stranger Things in general but also um, maybe very minor minor spoilers vague spoilers um, to season four in particular um, and I'll keep those books for the ending uh, for the ending of this video <laughs> uh, but getting right into it the first book I wanted to talk about is oh I just knocked it over but that's okay um, a summer of night by Dan Simmons uh, this is about a group of friends that team up uh, during summer to conquer a big baddie a big baddie uh, <laughs> this is very scary and very disturbing um, and yeah Dan Simmons is so good at writing horror he goes into a lot of detail and setting up atmosphere um, and characters um, this one I believe does take place in the 60s if I'm not mistaken I don't think it yeah it's 1960 um, it doesn't take place in the 80s but um, still those kids teaming up together to conquer a big baddie um, and trying to get the parents to believe them and all that stuff happens in this um, it's a lot of fun um, and I read this last summer I think I read this last summer or the summer before um, and I had a ton of fun with it so I highly suggest even for a summer read um, summer of night the next book of course i had to include in a stranger things video and that is carrie by stephen king um this is an absolute classic um and i believe this is one of my first stephen king books that i ever read um and ended up falling in love with king and yeah it changed my life um but if you don't know this is about a girl with telekinesis so she can move stuff with her mind um and that's not the scary part of this book the scary part is her freaking mother is insane to in the membrane and the bullies um and yeah i highly suggest reading this classic if you haven't read it already the next book i'm going to recommend it might seem kind of out there but if you hang in there um i'll let you know why i picked it <laughs> um and that is bird box by josh mallorin um if you guys know about this story it is it is also a netflix movie um so it has that in common with stranger things right they're both on netflix uh, but this is about a event that happens in in the world basically when people see this creature even a corner of their eye they go crazy and they kill themselves and basically they have to um blindfold themselves to get through yeah everything <laughs> um i just read the sequel to this pretty a couple months ago mallory and i really liked it i think i liked mallory more than i liked bird box uh but this is so good it's cosmic horror done on like a small scale like a very small story where all, something crazy and cosmic is happening um outside uh and yeah i just love um how insane this book got um especially a certain character in this like it goes yeah kind of off the walls and uh yeah i highly suggest this because of the cosmic horror aspect to stranger things uh yes i yep it's cosmic horror 
<laughs> Stranger Things. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided to recommend this one in this video. Uh, and yeah, highly suggest, especially if you're a newbie to Cosmic Horror, this is a nice story to kind of, because it, it's literally like a glimpse, right, <laughs> into Cosmic Horror. <laughs> Next book I had to recommend because it takes place during the 80s and that is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I love this book. Uh, this book is so much fun. Um, there's a lot of music in this book. There's a soundtrack, uh, soundtrack. There's a playlist on Spotify for this book and I still listen to it to this day. I read this book like two years ago. Um, and yeah, I just love it so much. It's fantastic. Uh, and yeah, so... Um, this is exactly what it sounds like. It is about um, a girl and her best friend's exorcism. Um, and yeah, this is such a heartwarming um, 80s kind of vibe. Uh, horrifying. There's some graphic scenes in this as well. But yeah, overall I love it. It's so sentimental towards yeah, and I'm just like, oh, I love it so much. Um, I hear the audiobook for this is outstanding because they have the main character actually singing the songs and stuff in it, and I'm kind of upset that I didn't uh, listen to the audiobook the first time I read this. Um, instead, I read it physically and had the soundtrack playing, of course, to get into those vibes. Uh, but yeah, highly suggest reading this um, if you're a Stranger Things fan. Uh, and yeah, I just highly suggest reading this if you haven't read this one already. Um, I think it's perfect for summer as well. Um, I believe this takes place in, during summer um, for the most part. I think it lasts a while. Uh, but yeah. Fantastic. It is 80s rific and uh, you should read it now. <laughs> The next book I'm going to recommend I read pretty recently and that is Ghoul by Brian Keane and this one it does take place during the 80s uh, and it is gross, it is disgusting, um, but it is a group of kids during summertime teaming up to defeat a baddie, a disgusting slimy baddie a goal and yeah this feels like an 80s b movie especially the beginning of it it just like kind of throws you in to um an 80s b movie opening scene uh and it's fantastic i had a lot of fun with this one it does get very dark um and it much darker than i think stranger things would ever go um and more brutal uh but it also holds back some as well uh and yeah i really enjoyed this one and i highly suggest it is a great summer, summer ween, <laughs> summer <laughs> read, but yeah, summer ween as well. It is coming up, um, and yeah, you could add this one to your summer ween TBR for sure. Uh, and yeah, I loved it, and it has a ton of Stranger Things vibes in it. And the next book I'm going to recommend is, of course, another Stephen King book, and that is The Institute by Stephen King. This is one of his newer books. Um, I, it was published within the last five years or so, uh, and this is about a boy who has powers who is kidnapped from his home um i believe it is the shop it is the same people from firestarter um and they are running experiments um and there's kind of a mystery to it like where he's taken um and how he um needs to get out but then there's also another story of a detective if i'm remembering correctly i might get this all wrong which kind of reminded me of like Hopper um, and him kind of unraveling this story. Um, I really liked this book a, a lot actually. I think I read it in like three days. I was hooked. I was hooked. I was invested. The kids in this are a bit annoying but you get over that pretty soon because there is some excellent action scenes written in this um, and if you're a fan of like the action stuff in Stranger Things then this is right up your alley. We got a big baddie government situation <laughs> happening um, to where these kids have to defeat the big baddie which is the government in this one um and yeah highly suggest if you are into um stranger things the whole um 11 set story in stranger things you'll definitely like this one uh and yeah it is a good time <laughs> as an honorable mention i've already mentioned a couple stephen king books but i'm just gonna mention it 
right now um yeah of course that would because you know of the kids coming of age story teaming up in the 50s actually uh but they come back together in the 80s so this book does take place in the 80s but it's the adult that are in the 80s uh, yeah, I feel like I just confused myself with this one. Uh, but yeah, this is another like I, Stephen King recommendation. Um, and yeah, uh, you could tell Stranger Things definitely pulls a lot of inspo from uh, Stephen King himself. And Stephen King is kind of a bit of a critic with Stranger Things, but he overall really likes it. Um, and yeah, uh, this is another one. I, I hesitate to recommend this one though to read during summer because it will take you all summer. It is very long. <laughs> okay, so the last two books I'm going to recommend, it, they are minor spoilers for season four. Very, very vague spoilers. Um, and that is White Smoke by Tiffany Jackson. Uh, this is about a new family that moves into a house that is spooky a lot of spooky stuff is happening in it um and there's um yeah already the stuff of moving to a new town when you're a teenager um and all of that anxious stuff happening but yeah um the twist in this uh is terrifying to me it's like one of my worst nightmares it is why i might ne never live in a house honestly um but yeah that is a very very spooky spooky book um if you're looking for a, just a more paranormal book i guess <laughs> and the last book i'm going to recommend is clay mclead chapman's book whisper down the lane uh this takes place like i think late 80s or early 90s uh during a part and then it switches to the present uh this is about kind of like the satanic panic stuff that happened in the preschool um in California I forget the the case's name but it is kind of like direct inspiration from that and uh, done in um, like a changing timeline and then it all comes together at the end uh, but yeah uh, I think satanic panic uh, stuff uh, or books uh, definitely fit stranger things season four uh, and yeah that is a minor spoiler for that uh, and yeah, I highly suggest reading this one. This one is really good. It also takes place in Virginia and around Richmond, which is really cool for me personally. Uh, but so yeah, of course I might be biased to this one because of that. Uh, but also I love the satanic panic, um, stuff. I listened to a podcast about it around this time when this book came out. So I was like, yes, this is right up my alley. Um, and yeah, if you know, um, the theme to which this is uh, in Stranger Things, let me know in the comments down below because it revolves around a very fun new character. Uh, and yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, but also, it is like kind of like Freddy Cougar, right? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those were some Stranger Things book recommendations. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if you've watched the new season. Let me know uh, your favorite part without saying spoilers. If you want to use emojis too, that would be fun. Um, but yeah, keep it spoiler free because yeah, I do not want to spoil this for anybody. That would be the worst thing ever. Um, and you guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.